Well, g'day everyone. Today we're having a squiz at the demo for Norland. Norland is a medieval kingdom sim that generates stories. Manage a noble family and face with class society, crime, slave revolts, religious conflict, economic issues, personal relations, treachery, secret murders, and spectacular battles. It's listed as a early access strategy simulation city builder. It's a city builder that kind of has rim worldy kind of graphics and stuff. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I've, I'm just recording so many next fest stuff at the moment that, um, my voice is starting to go really, really funny, <laughs> especially considering that my lungs still not working and I'm still having trouble breathing. So if I huff and puff and crunch and cough and stuff like that, I apologize. Don't forget to hit like on this, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't joined me on Twitch, link is below. And uh, there will also be a link to uh, this demo and this game where you can add it to your wish list. Don't know whether the demo is going to be out um, by the time or, or still available by the time I get this game out. Let's start a new game, shall we? All right, lovely. Uh, let me see. Uh, or, or actually, should we? We should. Well, we probably should. I should really do the tutorial. Let's start a new game. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, characters that we can change. Uh, each has different, uh, different stats. Manners, trade, intellect, management, teaching, combat, and command. I reckon command, management, and intellect are probably a good thing. Uh, management 13 for Ira. Um, command 9, but Solga actually enjoys command let's uh let's randomize so so we'll take we'll take ira because management is 13 if we randomize uh we're looking for somebody that's good at uh good at into good with intellect and good somebody that's good with management no i uh, no ira is good with management so maybe either trade or command that's pretty good so we might take rena as well and uh, we've got uh, intellect. We're, we're kind of looking for somebody who's good at intellect. There's 15 on intellect, so we might uh, we might take Siegbert. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, here we can set up, uh, it's called Sparksville. It is not called Sparksville. It is not called Sparksville. It is called Vegemite. My God. Of course it's called Vegemite. There we go. That done. Uh, we can, uh, we can actually, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, snail, snail, definitely. Pattern, that looks pretty good. Sign color, white. Pattern color. Well, we've got to have yellow and red because it's um, Vegemite. So there we go, lovely. And uh, what other patterns do they have? No, go that. What other signs do they have? Do they have anything relating? Yeah, like, like a big V or something would be really, really, really nice. There's a lot on here. Uh, let me see. Maybe a smiling face. Scissors. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go stars because those who eat Vegemite are stars. Uh, overall skills, we've got uh, management and we've got combat. Okay, let's continue on with that. Beautiful. So here is... Is this where we go? It looks like it is where we go. We can't unlock any other areas, so that looks like the place we go. Uh, Norland, the year 2898 since the creation of the world. 200 years have passed since the great Crimson Empire perished in the flames of the religious war. Its former provinces have become the barbaric kingdoms kept from mutual destruction only by the all-powerful Church of Holy Sophia. Uh, while the holy prophets speak of the impending end of the world, events unfold on the eastern outskirts that will influence the entire history of the world. Let's get into here. Loading. I don't think it accepted my name, Change. Beginning of the story. After a long and exhausting journey, Sigbert arrived home expecting to see his wife waiting at the doors of the hall. However, instead of her, his brother approached him. The expression on his face did not bode well. My king, I do not bring you joyful news. What happened? Ira, do not delay. Tell me the truth. Unable to look the king in the eyes, Ira stuttered as he began to speak. 
Bandits attacked us last night. We tried to defend ourselves, but there were too many of them. They've kidnapped your wife, and now they demand a ransom. Then command the messenger to deliver whatever they ask for. But my king, we're surrounded by enemies. While we're under vassalage's protection for now, you know that the old, uh, you know that the old king's time is running short. If we do not have enough gold and resources, we won't be able to withstand. We need an army. So you suggest that I abandon Rena? So uh, Sigbert's married to Rena. Okay, cool. Uh, as long as they have hope of receiving the ransom, they will not harm her. I need time to think it through. Go now and await my instructions. All right, so here we are. Lovely, lovely. Uh, let's see, do we have a... Yeah, we do have a space button as a pause now this is this this whole this whole economy and stuff is based around um obviously resources and stuff but around peasants so you assign specific people to um of, of your three nobles to specific tasks and to look after specific buildings and stuff and to keep the peasants beat up and uh and keep them submissive and stuff like that so um if we go to the knowledge, there we go. Uh, Hopfield and beer. It looks like, what do we got here? Mine and Ryefield and Mill. Rewrite interaction. So this is knowledge. This is where we can learn knowledge and stuff. I'm guessing that we need some sort of library or something. But uh, the first thing that I want to do, we've got army, dynasty, finance, production, and construction. Uh, resources, we probably want to gather wood. I don't know whether wood is one of those things that disperses after a while. Like uh, once they've chopped everything down where the stuff grows back. Uh, what else do we need? We need uh, resource-wise a uh rutabaga rutabaga field i don't know what that is uh fertility so there's a fertility list there and it looks like these areas here are the most fertile so we've got a hundred percent there so we're going to create a farm there uh finance wise we've got four thousand gold uh 15 holy rings really uh we've got 500 wood 10 iron uh, 100 flour, 20 meat, 100 root, root blah, 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 blah. got 100 beer, which I'm guessing keeps peasants happy, uh, and flavorful ale. What else do we have in construction? Uh, let's see, we've got housing, so we've got dormitory, which is for peasants, a peasant's house, uh, we've got a lord's home and a slave barn, a living space for slaves that accommodate, can accommodate 20 slaves. Uh, this building is required for purchasing slaves and house. This is about nobles controlling the people and stuff. Uh, services. We have a tavern, a den. Uh, here, nectar is sold. Okay. Uh, a market. In the evening, peasants and warriors can buy goods here, food and weapons. Selling uh, parameters can be adjusted in the finance menu. An altar. Praying at the outdoor altar replenishes 25 units of piety. A warehouse. We're definitely going to need one of those. And a library required for working knowledge. I think we're going to build a library most definitely. We're going to build that just over there next to them. Uh, what else do we have in the service? Uh, I'm thinking probably a tavern. Do we do the tavern next to... We've got a market there anyway. Uh, what else have we got resource-wise? Uh, paper, producing the paper workshop. Uh, medicinal salve, hops, none of. Moonshine and flavorful ale. All right, lovely. So let's let everybody get underway and uh, start building some of this. Now, while we're doing that, let's have a look at the world map. So it looks like uh, Rena is down here and she's being captive. Oh, well, she's captive. There's Vegemite right there. Here's Dust Valley, which I'm guessing is in our region. So this is our region here. So I'm guessing Dust Valley. Uh, the ruling family, uh, Eidfrith. Doesn't look like we have any relationship with them at this 
particular point in time. What can we do? We can assign lords. We can assign a lord to it. Dark deeds. We can uh, lords assassination, kidnapping a lord, library robbery, uh, politics, offer offering to the king, withdraw from vassalage, or send the guest. The lord is going to the city and interact with the family of lords living there. So looks like there's uh, some some political stuff going on there as well that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, Fibra. Uh, peaceful peasants engage in agriculture and pay tribute to you uh, on the day of harvest. It's possible to attack the village at any time to capture slaves. What's going on there? Army recruitment. Uh, seven bandits with combat skills five, uh, with combat skill five and without weapons will join your army. Hmm. We'll keep our eye on that. Let's go. Let's go back into. Uh, let's go back into town. Uh, let's go out of the world map and go back into town and see what has and hasn't been built. Probably need to speed up a little bit. Yeah, because we're going to have to end up building an army as well. All right, I'm going to speed up just a little bit. Looks like we have seasons. It's day zero in summer. What we want to do is we want to get this. We want to at least get some wood chopping happening and some other stuff. And you'll see that the nobles sleep in their rooms. I've got, I've, I've got, to, I've got to show you the. I've got to show you. Uh, let's see. If we if we go in there and we assign a manager, uh, Ira is uh, Ira is thirteen on management. Production bonus 84%. So Ira can be in charge of that. What's this peasant doing? Um, inter interracial sex or punish. Build a scaffold. Carry out punishment is necessary, necessary to construct a a, a, a a scaffold. Okay, cool. All right. What else are they building now? Uh, they're building down here. So we're going to have our management person... Uh, managing that stuff. Uh, we're going to have our... Well, we can't have Rena doing anything at the moment. But um, let's have a look. Information conducting an inspection. Uh, full of energy. Mild loneliness. Holy Sophia has forsaken me. Uh, need for piety. Okay, so we're going to need to... We're also going to need to build ourselves an altar which we shall build out here, I think, in front of that tree there. Oh, pfft. I think I built right on top of that tree. So these guys are going here with this. Uh, we will go into here. Management-wise, Ira is going to manage that as well. And I think we have some settings on there. No, only destroy. Workers, we need... Uh, well, do we do we actually physically put workers in or not? How many people do we have? We've got, uh, let's see, we've got total number of peasants in the town is seven. Uh, healthy, unemployed are none. Religious fanatics, none. Homeless, none. Average wealth, 15 gold and mood, 69. We expect seven migrants today. Frequent negative thoughts are because we don't have a... Uh, don't have a thing built. We've got one person working in there. Why do we have no unemployed? Why can't we add? Oh, okay. So, yep. Okay. So Ira needs to, uh, Ira needs to assign those people. Where is Ira? So we've got a wood chopper there. Ira is. Don't know what Ira's doing. Ira is our king, but Ira is no Sigbert's our king. Sigbert's married to Rena. Ira is uh, heading down to there to start getting some stuff together. Beautiful. Let's uh, let's keep things moving. Library is being built. Workers have not received instructions today. Insufficient workers. Hmm. 
Okay, there we go. So I'm guessing that he has now assigned three workers to that, which is really, really good. Would have been nice. Ah, oh, look, we've got some farmland up here. We could have got them close together, which would have stopped him from having to walk all over the map. Now, uh, we've still got 94% uh, on that. That's all good. Uh, we also now have 14 with four unemployed and four homeless. So I think we're going to have to build ourselves another another house as well. Production housing. We're going to have to build another dormitory here, I'm guessing. Right next door. There we go. They can build that as well. Get building, peasants. Get building. Uh, I just want to see if... Who's this guy? That's a trader. Uh, let's see. Who do we assign to trading? Uh, we assign... Oh, well, Ira's the better for trading. Most definitely. But Ira's quite busy. Let's go Sigbert. And then Sigbert will come down here and start trading. With the trader. I just... I, I, wanna, I want you guys to see that. I want you guys to see the... Um, See the nobles beating on the peasants and stuff like that. It, it's kind of a, a little bit of a crack up, really. So is Sigbert going to... What is Sigbert doing? Enjoying the moment. Teach rhetoric, economy, philosophy, or warfare. Challenge to a duel. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, so that's the trader. We've got 3,981 gold. The trader only has uh, 160. Uh, wood economical construction allows a 50% reduction in the consumption of wood during building and upgrading of buildings. That's pretty good. Iron. Uh, what are these? Flavorful ale enables the production of flavorful ale. Temple allows the construction of temple through the construction menu or herbalist i might buy that i think uh let's see holy rings uh their scarcity can lead to negative thoughts while abundance can lead to positive ones i'm gonna keep hold of that we might sell off some wood because we've got heaps of wood we're gonna put up another wood cutter anyway as well so we might sell off some wood uh, there's really nothing else that we want to sell because we kind of need everything. What else does he have? Uh, slaves. He has slaves. Yearning for freedom. Yearning for freedom and yearning for freedom. I would like to see how... I don't condone slavery, guys. I don't condone, uh, condone slavery. Uh, does not want to run away plus 10. Let's grab that slave. 15. Uh, what else does he have there? Let's grab spears. Hmm. What have we got weapon-wise? We've got 10 spears and we've got uh, 10 maces, so we don't really need that. What are these? Shields. Let's grab some shields as well. Looks like we're paying 595 across to there. Uh, is there anything else that we kind of want? Probably not at this point in time. <clears throat> we could get some uh, light armor. Heavy armor is pretty expensive. Light armor. I think we're going to have probably five people maybe in our... Maybe six people. Let's pay $1,000. We've got a little bit of cash. Let's trade with him. All right, lovely. I'm guessing that we would have um, got a little bit better money... Or discount and stuff if we had it. What the? What are you doing? Spreading rumors. Stop spreading rumors, rumors with the peasants. Okay, slaves. Slaves are an alternative to peasants working in industries. They have their own advantages and disadvantages. They no, do not require payment in gold. Simply set their consumption in the finance menu. Slaves live in the slave barn. Make sure there's always... An overseer assigned to the barracks, otherwise the slaves will not receive food. If a slave is happy and still holds a desire for freedom, they may attempt to escape or unhappy. The chances of escape are higher if they live on the streets. Unhappy slaves can in instigate a slave uprising. Okay. 
Female slaves are more expensive as they can give birth to children if they have normal moods throughout the day. Freed slaves experience great joy from their freedom and may become brave warriors. Excellent. Who's that? Leaving the settlement. What? Why are you leaving the settlement? Because you have a thirst for freedom. Don't tell me he's nicking off already. Okay, cool. So everybody's doing everybody's doing their stuff. Uh, we need to go into our uh, into our finance, which is right there. All right, local market sales per day. Uh, we've got that stuff. Price per unit, so we can set all the prices for our um, for our local market, which is good. Taverns, we can set our prices for taverns as well. Uh, amount we've got 10 beer we've got a, uh, a maximum moonshine or is that how many to produce I guessing that might be how many to produce uh wages uh peasants five warriors five we don't have any at the moment and unemployed none slaves we will give uh well, i'm guessing maximum flour and uh and root whatever it is I'm guessing finance menu. Uh, yep, that's it. Work that out. That's easy. Let's see how uh, how everybody goes. This is our market here. Um, statistics for today sold 14, and we've got 14 of those in the warehouse. We probably need to build ourselves another warehouse. Did I set up a warehouse or not? That's an altar. I don't think I did set up a warehouse. Is this room acting as a warehouse? Our uh, our nobles are asleep. Our peasants are running around. Probably need to prioritise that building there as well before we prioritise the tavern. But construction-wise, uh, services, we need a warehouse. And we're going to throw a warehouse here, I think. I know. I'm not laying it out very, very well. You don't need to remind me. Okay, it's the next day. There's been a lot of people sleeping on the ground because they they're not working fast enough to bring their uh, to build their houses. So we've got a few people working in there. Uh, we're going to have everybody else going out and doing some work and stuff. I've actually put another rat bag field in there, and another and another um, uh, wood chopper here as well, hoping that um, that we can actually get uh, a lot more food coming in. But also a lot more timber, and we can actually probably um, deal in timber next time we get a merchant coming in. Uh, <laughs> Sigbert's there holding, shaking his fist. He's shaking his fist. Now he's uh, drinking beer. Who's this? Uh, goes for resources. That's older. She's going for resources. What we really want to do is get together a, a little bit of an army. Uh, your first task is to free the prisoner from the... Uh, yeah, we do need to free Rena. Okay. Cool. So we've got uh, peasants down there working in that field. We have currently have five healthy and unemployed peasants. So we'll get three on there, one in there, which will be good. Don't know what's going to happen in here. Dynasty-wise, uh, let's see. Restrictions, family tree... Uh, Chronicles, Dogmas, Dice Game, Beer Consumption. Oh, so we can restrict them from doing things. Okay, that's interesting. I'm guessing, maybe? I don't know. But we'll have to uh, check that out as we move in a little bit further. We've got a production thing there. Don't know at this point in time. Assign the production of goods and the workers will start producing them. Production takes place during the work hours from 9 till 6. The workers will initially take necessary raw materials. Uh, and at the end of the workday, they'll uh, bring the finished products back to the warehouse. Assign lords to administration to administer the building. Okay, cool. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So we just got a uh, world summary come up. So uh, let's have a look at what's going on there. 
Well, we can't click on those. Daily statistics. Uh, no peasants left. No one became criminals. No one became cutthroats or fanatics. And we expect four migrants. Frequent negative thoughts of homelessness and uh, the goddess will punish me. Uh, rebellion chance 20% with the slaves. There's one unhappy slave. Uh, frequent negative thoughts, homeless and, and holy Sophia. Uh, nobody's sick. Nobody's deceased in warriors and stuff like that. Uh, we've got uh, events for the current day. Uh, Great Miss trade offer, Silver Haven trade request, Wind Peak trade offer, and Dust Valley trade offer. Okay, interesting. Do we need to go into the world map to do any of this? What's this? Trade offer. Uh, they wish to sell 20 of those for 120, which amounts to 6 per unit. Market price 9 at the Holy Caravan. Uh, yes, we will do that. Let's assign, let's let, assign somebody to that. Well, we can't assign somebody to that. Trade by flower. Oh. Uh, Carson's does not treat you well enough. Currently, the relationship between your kings is minus 20. But it should be, okay, so we can't trade with them for that. Why do they have a trade offer then? Uh, tra oh, that, that was actually a, uh, yeah, that's a trade offer. Dust Valley, well, we do need to, we do need to do this. Uh, 21 per unit market price. Uh, paper. Price is adjusted by plus 12 due to the difference in skill levels of trade. Okay. Over here, uh, 27 per unit. Let's actually, uh, let's see if we could actually do that. Buy paper and Sigbert's the one that's going to have to do it. All right. Lovely. I don't know whether that means he leaves town or not. I'm not sure. Let's uh, move that. Knowledge has come up. Uh, herbalist. Rewrite. So we can actually, now we've got a library. We can actually learn these things, which is actually really, really good. So we can learn herbalist and we can learn mine. Hopfield and beer. Ryefield and mill. Beer's going to be pretty important. Uh, let's get Sigbert to learn that because he's 15. Perfect. So he can learn all of that. Have we got anything else built so far? We don't. We do. We've got the tavern built down here. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing that Soldiers and peasants do not sell, so you can actually restrict what gets sold in there. So uh, we've got our temple up, which is going to make people a lot happier. As soon as this is built, then that's going to make those people a lot happier as well. Uh, and then they'll concentrate on on the other stuff. So probably the field, then the wood chopper, and then the warehouse, I think. I think. What's wrong with you? You're cold. Going to work, you're working. Yeah, get to work and you won't be cold, right? So we've got uh, currently, we've got uh, four healthy unemployed, which is good. Okay, still going. Uh, so that's the warehouse. So what we need to do is we need to add a manager, which is going to be Ira. Uh, and we'll have three people working in the warehouse uh, let's drop that down to two people working in the warehouse because, oh, hang on, are these new people? Who's this? Who's this? Uh, let's just go down to there. Uh, a trader. Who's Rasha? Waiting to be hired. Uh, Rasha is a... I think Rasha is a, uh, 50 loyalty, 51 mood, no knowledge, 26 years old. Is Rasha a lord? 
Why not? Persuasion, uh, persuasion of the available Lord level 7. Total cost for 10 days, 12. Yeah, no, I'm not, not, not going to hire you. Uh, who's, who the hell is hitting shit? Somebody is. Ah, that's the caravan is, uh, slaves. We'll get Ira to go and, uh, do a trade with him and just see what we've got there. What the, oh, ship was going down and we missed it. Uh, let's see. Uh, unconscious. Probably beaten up by, by him. He goes to contemplate. Uh, he's buying goods. There was a punch up. <laughs> there we go. There's, there was a punch up. There was punch ups at the, uh, at the inn. That's what was going on. There's, uh, there's unrest. There's unrest. Uh, do we have that built yet? No, we don't. Do we have anybody assigned to that? Yes, we do. Uh, what can we trade? Uh, well, we're not getting enough wood anymore by the looks of it, but we I don't think we need to build too much more. So let's sell a little bit of wood just because we can. Uh, we can probably sell at this point in time. Five of those and five of those. I reckon. So that gets us 300 bucks, which is pretty good. So let's trade that. Don't think we need anything else off of him. So that'll be fine. That'll be perfectly fine. Let's continue on. Can't believe there's punch-ups already. Look at all the blood everywhere. That's so cool. Super, super uh, excited about this coming out. I think this is going to be a really, really good one. Especially when you start getting into the politics and stuff. Uh, he goes to the caravan here and he's sick. Don't you go spreading all your bloody diseases around here. Seriously. Okay, so that's happened. So the caravan here should, uh, yeah, should disappear. Let's uh, fast forward to the next day, shall we? Okay, trade offer. Buy paper success. You've successfully delivered 210 and in return, receive 10 of the resources will be delivered to your city soon. And our relationship has gone up with that uh, with that king. So that is good. Uh, the trade partner city budget has increased by the amount of the deal. Perfect. So uh, our king should be coming back. Sigbert is on his way back. I love how it shows them, you know, moving around the uh, moving around here as well. Got another trade offer over there. We just don't have enough people. Maybe I should have hired that other dignitary. I don't know. But uh, I love the fact as well that it takes them a, 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 a bit of time to do their traversing between cities as well. It's not like an instant thing. So you've got to send somebody out there to do the deals. What I would like to see though, once everybody starts getting up and going back to work, which they kind of are, what I would like to see is, let's see, we've got seven unemployed people. We're going to have people working on there. Is uh, army-wise, I would like a barracks, uh, ten people. So I think I'm going to put a barracks in, and I'm probably going to put the barracks here. I reckon that'll that'll be okay. Cool, and then that way. Um, uh, what's this sin? Uh, some actions such as insulting uh, infidelity to one's spouse and fights are considered sinful. Sin is a prolonged and strong negative thought that can be absolved through confession with bishop. Sins are also reflected in the status select uh, section of the main character menu. Is somebody sinning? What's he doing at the moment? He's praying. Okay, you, you keep praying there. Hopefully, what, what's wrong with her? Uh, awaiting the inspector, Arnulf. Okay, hopefully uh, hopefully our king will be back soon. In fact, he should be back now, to be honest. Yep, here he comes, Sigbert right there. If we, uh, let's see, how are our resources going? Can we at this point in time, can we find ourselves, we've got a herbalist and we've got ourselves a mine. 
but we don't have anything else. We've got floors and plants and stuff like that. Let's do some, let's do some stone floor, shall we? There we go. We'll uh, sort all of this stuff out. Uh, is this costing us anything? No, it's not costing us anything. That's fantastic. I love the fact that you can, that we can decorate without it costing anything. I like that. Uh, let's see. We'll go straight through there. Straight through there. Down there. Uh, we'll send some people out here as well, I guess. We'll give them... I don't know where the paths make any real difference, to be honest, but I'm going to throw them out there anyway. To that. And whether people just use paths or, or whether they don't. But it uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fun to put it all in there. Uh, let's not, let's not, oh, okay, so when we're building that stuff, it won't, uh, it won't do anything. Let's, uh, keep moving, guys. Let's keep moving. Uh, what else can we do production-wise? Uh, nothing at the moment. Service-wise, nothing really at the moment. A den? Is it, is a den... Payment of the tax to the sire. As a vassal, you have been charged a tax to be paid to your sire in the amount of 60 gold. The tax amount is dependent on the population of your city. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Building needs a manager. All right, let's slow everything down a little bit. Uh, we've got another building down here. We are going to assign Ira to that as well. Um, we've got a barracks nearly being built, nearly finished here, which is going to be really, really cool. Um, and that way I put that, I put that path right through those stones. Don't look, Kane. don't look. Um, we're getting stuff here. What, what's wrong with you? you? You're shaking your fists. Are you guys having a punch? No, you're working. I thought they were having a bit of a punch up. All right, cool. Excellent. Uh, up here, that is done now. We will assign Ira to that as well. What's wrong with you? You're going to work. Excellent. You go to work. You go to work. So we've got the Ira as our manager of all of those. Uh, the barracks here, we've got no residents. So you can move stuff, which is really, really good. We don't have any residents at the moment, but it's working normally. I'm pretty sure we're going to have at some point. So we need that little army. We def definitely need that little army. Uh, our hops field and beer field is uh, is at 87%. So that's good. New knowledge is gained from the book. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, knowledge... What are we going to do? Right, herbalist. Probably a herbalist is probably going to be a good thing, as well as a mine. Uh, let's see. Let's learn that, and uh, that can be Sigbert as well. Excellent. So he can go out and learn that. He's not really doing much, is he? Do we have any... Uh, we don't have an army yet. Do we need anything else? Construction-wise... Uh, we have a hop field, which we want to throw up here, where we get the best yield that we can get. 100% fertility there. 40 wood. Oh, crap. Got to keep going. Resources hop field. Why won't it let me put one down? Oh, maybe it's not the area to put a hop field down. The hot fields go elsewhere, or is it because we've got a different type? See, there's no real fertility around here, is there? It's only 10% fertility. So I'm guessing that these, these areas here are, are the most fertile, but it's not letting me put it down there for some reason. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I don't want it in a crappy area. Okay, maybe we could move that. No, we can't move these fields. Um, 
You can't manage what's happening because there's specific fields. Okay. Don't know how to get a hop field in. Is there another area that uh, that has fertile land? Not sure. Not sure. There we go. Check that out. Chopping away at the trees. Excellent. Excellent stuff. All right. Let's keep going. What's Ira in there doing? Ira's in there drinking beer. Sigbert's in there uh, studying knowledge. Good boy, good boy. What's up with you? Uh, you're going to work. Good, that's what you should. Six migrants have arrived. We still don't have any anybody in here. Probably going to need to uh, build ourselves another house as well, aren't we? Service, resources, housing. Uh, slave barn, Lord's house. Dormitory. Let's build another one here. Yes. Let's build another one there and see uh, if we can house the peasants. I don't know how to put the army together. I don't know how to put the army together. But we def desperately, desperately need an army. Hang on. Somebody uh, important is coming in. As well as a trader. Who's this? Um... Goes to talk to Sigbert. Okay, interesting, interesting. He's got medicine on him. Uh, they must be friends. Gerald greeted the king. Gerald greeted the king. King's happy. Don't know who the hell he is. Uh, lords from neighbouring cities come to visit you with both good and not so good intentions. To ensure successful communication, try to provide them with suitable conditions. For example, keep a few vacant houses for their accommodation. Ooh, okay, we're going to need another lord's house here. I'm going to put in another two lord's houses. We should be getting, yeah, plus 27 on that, plus 52 on that, which is really, really good. Resource wise, uh, I'm going to stop playing this here, guys. Uh, I did want to get down and uh, rescue Rena, which is our first priority, but uh, I've been having too much fun doing everything else. Um, this is a bloody good game. This is a bloody good game. Um, it's developed and published by Long Jaunt. It's Norland. There will be a link below if you want to try the demo out yourself. Uh, the demo lasts for, you can play for the first 15 days of the settlement. I think this is going to be really, really good. We didn't get into the nitty gritty of slaves. We didn't get into the combat. We didn't get into any of that stuff. But as you can see, I've had a really, really good time. And um, I think it's got a lot of potential. So grab the demo yourself. Definitely add this to your wish list. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.